Uh, what is up, everybody? Oh wait, we're not we're not putting gaming content in the back. Oh shit, let me let me get out League of Legends here. Here we're gonna don't don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna have gaming content in the background. Everything's gonna be perfect. We just need gaming. You know what? Wait, League of Legends is probably too difficult of a game to grasp. You know, we need something really stupid and um simple yeah we need something really really simple so league of legends is not going to work how about how about we do minecraft right minecraft minecraft or is that is that not is that not popular enough we need we need like we need some form of violence involved so we can do a commentary over it but we can't use something too complex like league of legends so how about fox that how about we go over to max games yeah let's go let's go over to max game no 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 no, no. not max games let's go to balloons Tower defense four. How about how about we do that? How about we play balloons, right? Balloons can't be too difficult to follow behind. We just need balloons, you know. We just need oh, oh, this. This is why I'm making my video today. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and x that, and we're just we're just gonna play balloons while we talk about some shitty commentary that's not relevant. And then it's gonna get in views, and it's gonna be an absolute waste of time for all the viewers. But for someone whose channel reaps off of doing stupid shit like this with uh, 14 year olds and uh, tumblers you know just following them this is this sounds like a good thing you know uh basically leafy has all the tumblr followers and uh, all the twitter and you know keemstar has all the other group of idiots and i want to point out one very important thing before i start my video today and actually i don't even want this music can i get, can i get rid of this music come on we gotta get rid of this music Where's, oh there it is we gotta get rid of the music main menu Oh, we have to start a game first and just go begin. Easy. Thank you, senor. You pass this track on no. The fuck is no? What? Okay, that's that's probably uh what? Okay, I don't know what the fuck that was. Anyways, I need to point out something really important before we start out here, and that's that uh, I remember when the game video game community was actually gameplay and commentary based. So this is what we're doing today. We're going to play gameplay while we commentate, but in the meantime, it's actually not a gaming video because this isn't the video game community. This is the drama community. So why do I make this video today? I fucking wonder. Because right here under category, it says gaming. But let's take a look at Leafy's channel really quick. Is this is this actually is this actually gaming? Is this is this actually gaming? Is this actually gaming? Is any of this actually game? No, no, it's not. So when I go to my channel, which is gaming live streams every day, it pisses me off when I have to see this piece of shit right here. And I will call you piece of shit. I'm not scarce. I'm not drama alert. Phase Rain, I guess I'm closer to you, but you're, you, I don't even remember the last time you made a goddamn gaming video. This, this is not my channel. This is, none of this is my channel. I personally enjoy listening to music and this intelligent, beautiful individual, but this, this is ridiculous. This is stupid. This is why I'm making my video today, because all of my shit is gaming related, yet Leafy gets to pop up under gaming. The problem that I have, first of all, I'm going to talk about a number of problems today. The first problem that I have is that Leafy and drama alert are considered related channels even though i will go to my home page and a million times over like like look at this for example right i have fucking i have league of legends i have more league of legends i have league of legends and i have joji so if this is what i watch joji league of legends music and league of legends this is what i watch right i, I mean this is featured here but rice gum pop music and I mean, tipsy bartender is more what I'm interested in, all this other music shit, right? So if I only watch music and gaming videos, then why is Leafy and Drama Alert recommended to me? Regardless, if a million times over, I will hit, go to his video, and I will see a video of his, such as, I keep fucking doing that, but I'll go to his video, and then there'll be this little button, and it'll hit not interested. As many times as I'll hit not interested, because I'm a gaming channel, he is put on my recommended list, which makes no sense. For example, if I went to Leafy's homepage, and you go to his second channel, Leafy isn't here, and all this other shit, this isn't gaming. None of this is gaming. Grade A is not gaming. These are what his feature channels are, but related channels is PewDiePie. Why is PewDiePie a related channel if this is not a gaming channel? This makes absolutely no sense. YouTube is fucking broken right now. When you can talk about Joey Salads and you get put on the gaming side of YouTube. The gaming side of YouTube is basically like a better 
cleaner side of Twitch. That's why I use it. I could be on Twitch's website, but you know, at the same time, if I go to Twitch, I still get idiots with all the, the, the Twitch horrors and shit. I'm trying to stay as far possible out of basically the drama side of YouTube. When I went to school, I was a kid in a library. I know, actually, dead serious. In high school, I would take my PS3 in my backpack and I would convince my teachers to let me play my PS3, hook it up to their monitors, and play my PS3 in class. I played video games at school. The drama, the bullshit, the white girls, all this other shit, this is not what I spent my time with. So this is not what I wanted to be around. And as many times as I'm going to go on my channel and hit not interested, Leafy's still going to pop up. Why? Because he's actually considered a, re a, a related channel to my channel and so is all this other bullshit these are not gaming channels i would love to know that actually if if this idiot is considered a game a gaming channel i will cry which he's not hopefully he's news and politics thank god that's at least a little bit more accurate i'm i'm not news and politics either way so i don't know why this is even related i would love to see hey, that scared? scarce is actually uh, you know like a fucking uh, gaming channel and why do they do this oh i know why because they put gaming in the background while they talk the whole time so notice guys i'm gonna put gaming in the background while i talk the whole time and that's what we're gonna do today so what is up oh, what the fuck is can i zoom this out a little bit maybe bam beautiful so we're just gonna play balloons today i'm gonna talk about things that make me upset so Anyways, what is up everybody and thank you so much for taking the time to watch a video today by me I, I I discuss the fact that I'm a little bit upset. Oh, you know, we need a little bit of sound effect I guess I was discussing the fact that I was that is gonna get irritating so fast So we're gonna be fine with that I was discussing the fact that I'm upset that leafy is considered a gaming side of YouTube because that's what the gaming side of YouTube is nowadays you throw a, you make a cut commentary with a fucking gameplay in the background the gameplay doesn't even have to be yours a great example is you can go ahead and look at sniper wolf the shit doesn't even belong to her and uh yeah that's case in point that's literally it that's and what is it used for it's used to make money it's entertainment sure but keep it the hell away from my gaming side of youtube because that is not actual gaming i don't know why they're allowed to get away with this but that's fine and then this video is basically talking about I don't, I'm not even on the fucking right thing anymore, but basically I have tried my hardest the same way that Leafy has tried to stay away from Keemstar. I have tried to stay away from the drama side of YouTube because realistically at the end of the day, it's a complete waste of time. I feel like I'm talking to a fucking wall, literally, and as much as I would want to do to go ahead and help that side of YouTube, it's impossible. It's like your best friend that's on drugs and you want to stop him, but no matter what you do, he's still going to do whatever the fuck he wants to do because he... Him and his privilege, apparently, him and him and his privilege. I watch shit like The Amazing Atheist on YouTube. That's what I do with my time. And this is what gets recommended to me. I live in an era where I don't I don't even know where to start. There's so many problems to talk about this topic. I could talk about Leafy, I could talk about Kamestar, I could talk about Scarce, I could talk about Fades Rain, I could talk about all these different things. And all it comes down to at the end of the day is people who have become famous by doing what like literally what i can go to scarce's channel right now i'm not trying to throw shade at any one of these people i'm just trying to worry in a realistic world where we live in why are people getting paid to do what they are doing it does doesn't make any sense to me like why is someone paid money to do this for a living what what does leafy do for a living he entertains you by making fun of people on the internet oh yeah that's called a comedian that's fine why don't you make him a comedy side of youtube why don't you actually just write that right right because give me a second i'm gonna go ahead because i'm i'm just slightly pissed off by the way that youtube system works if i were to go over to now leafy's gonna stamp it see even a minecraft video i have fucking minecraft videos but then i go over to my channel and then leafy gets fucking recommended so i'm gonna go over to my channel again for a second we're gonna take little breaks in between if you guys don't want to take the full time to watch the video well let me just tell you about a couple months ago it was discovered that if you use more than 10 minutes you make more money so everyone's video is longer than 10 minutes so if leafy can take your time to poison your head with retarded Re the literal re retardation form of entertainment then let me take some time to hopefully enlighten your life hopefully 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 we're gonna go to leafy's about really quick right hi i'm leafy better known as cyber hitler phase chicken nugget blah blah, 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 blah. if you don't like satire content probably not the place for you so 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 satire 
freaking content is the definition of your channel comedy based right so why are you allowed to reap away and write your get channel off as gaming well i'll tell you why it's really simple to make money that way it's very very simple to use little kids to make money you're YouTube is a business that prides upon people who want entertainment. Growing up as a kid, I could never really watch TV. It just never really made sense to me why people could just stare at a screen and just waste their time if the knowledge wasn't useful. I believe everybody loves a good story and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I rarely go to the theaters just because of the fact. It's not that I'm against fucking... Is that a good spot for this? That's a good spot for this. It's not that I'm genuinely against watching the movies. It's just that they never have a good storyline. Like, for example, Leafy blew up on YouTube for what? Making fun of kids and Jacob Sartorius? Yeah, I'm going to spend 15 minutes every day. 15. And then what does he get? What does he get? You get people like Lieutenant Corbis. You get people... Oh, we're good. You get people like Lieutenant Corbis. You get people like Pyro. You get people like fucking... I don't have a beef with Grade A's underrate because I actually loved him before he started covering YouTube drama. But YouTube drama is the place to be. So it just it just sucks. It really does suck that this is the state of YouTube that we're in right now. YouTube is a platform for entertainment. It's not Facebook. It's not MySpace. It's not high school. So it's just depressing to watch people act like that. It just It's actually really, really irritating. And at the end of the day, they're allowed to get away with it because you still will watch their videos at the end of the day. For example, my channel is what the fuck. For example, my channel is built upon like not enlightening people because I don't think I'm like God or something, but just for example, I'm trying to spread positive vibes, right? People want to call me an SJW, except the difference between me and the average SJ SJW is I'm not like some feminazi. I actually do genuinely spend my time trying to help people and better their lives. Like I, I literally give people life advice. That's what I do with my time. That's what I want to do with my time. Not people to develop this sense of saying oh you're cancer or you're, you're fucking go kill yourself or go hang yourself like it's a joke like telling someone to kill yourself isn't a joke but i'm not really worried about his definition of humor right now i'm just worried about the way youtube money works or what people are getting paid for if you want to make stupid jokes that's fine the way the world worked about 10 years ago was if you wanted to drop out of high school, that's fine. Drop out of high school, but you can end up working at McDonald's for the rest of your life. We've essentially... That's stupid. Why would you give me the... I don't give a shit. The way the world used to work was that if you wanted to be a dropout, if you wanted to be literally annoying the fuck out of your teachers, if you wanted to do stupid shit every day, you're going to end up living at McDonald's for the rest of your life because you couldn't afford a good job because you didn't want to go to college because you wanted to fuck around all day. Now, you get people... And sad to say it, I'll talk about FusiTube for a second. For example, it's someone I can relate to because he's Arabian. You have people, that's what they want to do with their life. You know, they just want to do stupid shit. They get paid for being fucking retards. It's fine if we have entertainers in the world. It's fine to have comedians. It's not fine when the literal role model growing up is so what you want to be in your life is you want to grow up and make a YouTube channel like Leafy. I don't feel like that should be a life goal. I really don't feel like that should be a life goal. What is something I wanted to do when I was little? Well, well, first of all, I wanted to be an architect. I wanted to go ahead and be a therapist. So what do I do with my YouTube channel? I try to give people life advice and I try to help people. Uh, I don't, I'm not liking this. So I try to give people life advice and I try to help them out. That's what I do with my channel. I try to better people's lives to the best of my ability. I don't think I'm some kind of savior, but you know what? At the end of the day, I feel like I'm doing honest work. That's what I honestly feel like I'm doing. I'm doing honest work. And like, it's it's just redundant. Like I even right now, and it pisses me off because people found out that 10 minute thing on YouTube. I do 15 hour live stream a days and I'm not really caring about the money side of my YouTube. But essentially, like you can look at Leafy's new videos. He will play music. That's like 10 second intervals just to increase the amount of time or how long his actual videos are. And you know what? Everyone's jumping on this train. It kind of sucked when every YouTube video was, every YouTube video was three minutes long. But it also is just really fucking redundant when every video is essentially go to strong. It sucks when every video is redundant, whereas basically they are 11 minutes of someone dragging out the conversation. Like if I if I wanted to make a a point when I'm talking, why not just be, make that point? I, I speak very blunt. That's just my style of speech. I don't mind if I hurt people's feelings as long as I'm like telling the truth and being direct. I feel like we can all save everybody's time because everyone wants to be on drugs and live such a fast life anyway. So why not just save everyone the fucking time and get to the point when you want to talk, right? Maybe you could be considered more interesting. Maybe you're not going to... Son of a bitch. You know what? These setups are not working at all. I'm not... I'm not... Uh, oh, shit. 
Oh, I don't have... Wait, I have money. What am I talking about? Oh, my God, I thought I didn't have fucking money. Okay, why are you giving me a boat? What the fuck am I... I can put another one of you right there. Give me, give me a second, guys. We gotta, we gotta think about strats here, okay? So, and it, it, like, it just really sucked that there's just a formula that you use. And I feel like, yeah, when you want to make a fucking hamburger, yeah, go follow a formula. That makes sense to me. But when you want to do something like a YouTube video that's supposed to inspire creativity, it's not creativity anymore. It's the same basic redundant shit. What's popular on YouTube right now? Drama. People always ask me, Ryan, how do you get your channel started, right? Or it's like, not everyone's asking, you know, yeah, like, I don't think I'm the most fucking popular person. But for people who want my advice because they like my channel and they want to do something similar, I always tell them, if you want to get big super fast it's super really really easy just do something stupid do a publicity stunt right do anything to get your dumbass popular that's all you have to do and what gets you popular right now drama videos when did youtube turn into fucking high school i have no idea but when you see a 35 year old or a 24 year old or people above the age of 18 fighting like they're fucking retards it's like you graduated high school you you're, you're at the point in your life where you could be looking for a wife or you could be it's not even that. It's like these are the people that are going to go ahead and vote, right? These are going to vote to see who the leaders of our country are going to be. Like children aren't allowed to vote. Adults are allowed to vote. And who are the adults that get to decide who represents our country? People like Pete Leafy. People, people like Gnome Star. These are the people that spend their time. And then what do you get? You get Trump with his fucking dumbass getting all his publicity. And then no one votes for Bernie Sanders. Why? Because Trump is... Fuck my life, man. I just this video isn't even about Leafy. This video is more or less the, the about the state of YouTube. But you know what? Just to get people to watch the damn thing, I'm probably gonna have to put some bullshit clickbait. So fuck me, man. But you know what? At least I'm using clickbait to, to hopefully try to benefit people rather than fucking abuse the power that I have. I have it. I have an area of influence uh, to about according to what YouTube tells me about a thousand views a day, right? I affect a thousand people's life a day, and I have the I have the ability to give them some speech, right? They look up to YouTubers. People want to be like YouTubers. What do you want them to be like? Someone that fucking makes fun of kids for a living? You literally make fun of kids for a living, but it's a joke, man. It's a joke. Yes, but you know what else was a joke? Miley Cyrus went ahead and made twerking videos and then all of the bullshit that was going on with her and Justin Bieber and the effect they're leaving on kids like kids cutting for Bieber he's like hey man I never told my fans to do that well you know what that's what kind of impression you're leaving you might not have wanted that to be the impact but that's what's fucking happening so whether you assume responsibility or not does not mean it's not going to be your fault you're the reason we have these fucking retarded channels like for example I'm just going to let this play through because I should be fine with this wave right I could go to big channels on YouTube for example example right how to basic right let's go to how to basic for a second what is this eight million views eight million views eight million views for what for what for this this is this is what gets us in is this an actual video no this is not an actual video eight million videos and i bet someone's laughing i bet this is so funny to someone I bet that was so funny to someone. Anyways, in the meantime, hey man, your sense of humor is just stupid. Yeah, you can say my sense of humor is stupid, but you know what? At the same time, at least I don't spend my whole fucking day on Twitter arguing with children. That oh my fucking god. That is not what I do with my free time. If you want to say that I have no sense of humor, I have a sense of humor. My sense of humor is just a little bit more intelligent than yours. I don't just fucking laugh at anything. Like for example, if right now I don't fucking know like lightning or no i gotta think of a funny scenario right something funny that's gonna happen oh my f me dying that's not gonna be fucking funny but to someone out there me dying is funny that's a great example when the fuck am i there is my super monkey give me my baby give me my fucking baby there everyone has a different definition of humor but there just comes a time where i i don't even know how to explain it there just comes a time where i feel like People don't acknowledge the fact that we're not still in the Stone Age. People don't acknowledge the fact that, like, hey, we're more domesticated than animals. Why the fuck is AIDS a thing? Like, there just comes a time where you gotta look at shit like that. Hey, man. Oh, I, I, yeah, you do whatever the fuck you want as long as you legalize weed. Like, why is legalizing weed your biggest priority? Like, really? You shouldn't, in my opinion, no, you shouldn't legalize weed. The same way that cigarettes shouldn't be legal. 
that's that's how i honestly feel i feel like we as a society if you have money that's not what you should be doing for your money i just i just really wish that people could acknowledge the fact that we are more domesticated than animals so why the fuck do we act like animals why is this the definition of people's entertainment like it's it's so mundane it's so it's such a pathetic definition of inter i'm gonna fucking die right now no i'm not so it's just, it's such a pathetic definition of entertainment. Yeah, you can have free time, but why, uh, keep playing. So you can have like your own definition of fun or whatever you want, but why such a, uh, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like there, there was this thing from an anime I watched where essentially it explained that the concept that one character was trying to explain to another was like trying to talk to a dog and explain to him what English is. It's literally beyond his grasp. Because I know there's so many people that would watch this video, not take the time to watch it and dislike it, which is totally fine by me because, again, I'm literally talking to a wall. It's just kind of sad. It's like, it's just sad because I care about the human condition. And I know that so many people don't. So many people just want to live for pleasure. No one really cares. As long as you have an orgasm, as long as you can smoke your your alcohol as long as you can do whatever the fuck you want you really don't care as long as you're having a good time oh my god i was supposed to put this down i was supposed to put that down i was supposed a lot of people really don't care as long as they get their they get their fix of dopamine or whatever the fuck it is they could give two shits less long as they get their fix as long as they get their high that's all that they fucking care about so what do you get you get a welfare system you get people unemployed you get teen pregnancies so hopefully just hopefully one of these days maybe you guys can give a shit and maybe we could actually i don't know not need to evacuate the fucking planet because you guys are killing it that's what i care about doing with my time that's literally what i care about with with my time i care about this fucking planet i care about something that i explain in a lot of my videos that i don't feel like a lot of people actually know and it's a word there is one word that i wish everyone learned and understood literally one word i wish everyone like forget god for a second forget everything you learn know in your life forget your parents forget school forget education forget everything and just know one word with just with just literally one word and it's called sonder literally just like if you don't know what it is google it it's that simple it's called called it's called sonder and i really wish that more people understood what that word meant i really wish that not everyone lived at the center of their own universe i really wish that more kids didn't want to go to college because it paid more but because they actually care about enriching their own intelligence i really wish that the humans could make me more proud i'm not talking like i'm god or something i just wish that i could have some more faith in humanity i really wish 50 years ago we didn't need to lock the front doors for our house right and somewhere down the line somewhere down the line and you know i don't even care about public executions like if you want to kill someone for being a fucking idiot that that's fine by me I'm, I'm being dead serious so somewhere down the line someone figured out hey i don't need to work i can just steal right hey i don't have to work hard I could just take what I want from someone else. And it just sucks that people have that mentality. It sucks that I literally, with my IQ, with my dad's uh, income, with all this other shit, I literally would not need to get a job in my life. I could have never worked a day in my life, would have been a millionaire, and I said no to it all. And the reason why is because I would rather take a minimum wage over having my life handed to me. And I know that there's so many people that wouldn't even understand that. So many people just want an easy life. No one wants to fucking work for... Oh my fucking god. How about we set you to first? Let's set you to first, my man. So many people just want an easy life given to them. And it's just sad. It, it really is. And that's literally why I'm upset with someone like Leafy. People see Leafy and they look up to him. That, that And that just kills me. Like, what is their to acknowledge about the guys all you think about is with your your hormones or with your dick or whatever you got in your pants is that is that really all that there is to your life is your life so i'm gonna die no i'm not i got laser vision bitch is is your life so and i don't want to be an asshole and use the word pathetic but is your life so pathetic that all you can think about is sex or pleasure or happiness or whatever the fuck it is that's just it's so sad 
it's so fucking sad and i'm not talking for the courtesy of everyone but literally for the average person that enjoys leafy's video like what is there to enjoy like really with the with the keemstar with the news of uh, accusing fucking basher that he's a rapist or toby turner whoever the fuck it is on twitter what what is there to enjoy it's like watching fucking fox news say this is the new terrorist for america like what 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 <sighs> It just, to me, it makes no sense to me, but I feel like that's because I understand what Sonder is. And I feel like I actually do something with my life. Like, I actually want to be something. You have all these fucking kids on the internet saying, oh, I'm depressed or this or this or that. It's like, nah, man, do something with your life. If you don't want to make someone else proud, make yourself proud. I just, non-offensively, and I don't really care. It's not adult humor. It, it really isn't. Like, things like Family Guy or Simpsons or whatever the fuck it is. Like, like as I fucking speak, literally, you know? As I speak, there's probably people dying of world hunger. And then there's like, okay, Ryan, why don't you go fucking fix it? I'm like, what do you think I'm trying to get big on YouTube or whatever this, the, this, this other thing is? People look up to YouTube for whatever fucking stupid reason and respect them. I literally want to become someone... I literally want to become someone respectable on the internet because with my ability or with my audience, I want to make an impact on the world. And I always say this. People always say, what, like, what is what is your goal with YouTube? How many subscribers do you want? What do you want? I said, I don't care if it's two people. My goal is that I want to help people be better human beings. That's my goal on YouTube. And I already said this. I need to change my channel name. It's not Raz Entertainment. I just... I really want to make a better impact. This is more of a vlog, I guess, but I really would like to base it on Leafy because Leafy is a YouTuber that blew up overnight for fucking what, man? Like, what did what did he get, for example, famous? That's what we're going to call it. What did he get famous for? If someone today cured cancer, would you hear about his name? Would you know his name? Or if someone tomorrow got a million subscribers, would you hear about him? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. Like, what's really important to you? What is actually important to you? This needs to go. This, this, all this shit needs to go. I'm gonna get rid of these ones. These fucking blade shooters ain't doing dick. Like, what's actually important to you? And it just, it just sucks. That. No one takes those things into account. Like, you're going to live for another hundred years. Nah, man, there's going to be a war. I'm going to die or something. No, nah, it's like, nah, be realistic. You're probably going to live for another hundred fucking years, right? Another hundred years you're going to live. And this is what you're doing with your life. And I wish I could say things like this to Leafy's face. Like, I don't care if it's in a video. I don't give an actual shit. I would just like to take the time to sit down and be like, there are 4.5 million people's lives that you can affect. And this is what you want to do. This is, this is about, oh my God. Oh my God. Escape. No, 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 that thing, that thing, that thing, that thing. Go. Yeah. Okay. I'm just sad. I'm just I'm just legitimately sad. That is not that is not friendly. That is that is all oh, there all oh, these two of them. That's 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 not good. That that's that's actually really bad. Oh shit. Oh shit. I think we lost. I think we lost, boys. Boys, I think we lost. Boys, I think we lost. I think we. I think we. Fuck! <sighs> Peace.